Um, this is mainly going to be like an update video and I'm going to rediscuss what cerebral palsy is. Now, I am not a physician, but I live with cerebral palsy. Now, first of all, my body is weak or my muscles. I'm basically, um, I am disabled in a way that I can't walk right. Um, actually, I don't know if it will show it. Um, actually, I'll show you how my feet are. This is basically how I walk. The one foot sticks out the other one. And then when I walk like that, as you can see, my other foot is dragging. Now, you can tell which part of the shoes that I use more with my foot. Here's a shoe, you can see the top. This is an athletic shoe. So they're not really, I mean, it's made for athletes. That's the top of the shoe. And that's the back of the shoe. So you can tell that I use the heel a lot, or it's dragging a lot. Now this is the other one. You can see that it's taking pressure on this side, and especially up top. As you can see, it's actually indented and money to go through. These are my old ones that I got that I was going to replace. You can see I mainly replaced it because the toe indent was actually to the point that my toes were touching the ground when I walked. Um, these shoes probably can survive a lot more, but they were a cheap brand and it's mainly the toe heel that is getting the main hit. And again, we combine it to these, which are athletic that I'm walking my ass off in. And you can see a lot more wear and tear, especially at the toe. Now, I am very, um, lucky in the way that I wasn't wheelchair bound. Uh, technically, I was did not walk till I was three um, because of the cerebral palsy. Um, of course, we know it affects speech. It affects people with learning disabilities, which is in there. It, um, because of course, in a learning disability, it affects speech, it affects muscle control. I don't let the cerebral palsy control me. As you can see, I have pushed myself to three miles a day walking. I have lost over 100 pounds of weight. Um, that has nothing to do with cerebral palsy, but at least it decreases the effect of the cerebral palsy. And it actually shows what sucks is it's affecting my shoes. So I got to go to an orthopedic doctor. Uh, my mom, when I was younger, of course, when I was younger, I was dis I, I let things get to me too much. I let people control my life. Uh, like I said in the other video, I had speech therapy through school, but I refused to go, which really affects me today. I cannot, I cannot pronounce my R's or my W's. Say, I say short, like short. And then I say shorts, like, hold on, short, like that. They basically seem exactly the same when I say, can I have a short, or I'm going to wear shorts out. <laughs> you really can <clears throat> not tell the same. And if I am talking about a board that flies around, you know, has wings, uh, like a dove, when I say board, it sounds like I'm saying something else, for example, of that. So my speech impediment is because of that. And also you can tell my voice of the speech impediment. And oh yeah, very important fact. Uh, cerebral palsy is not hereditary. Below I will link um, stuff explaining that, like short like definitions um, of it and um, hereditary stuff. And it is not hereditary. In the first video I did on this, there was a lot of stuff that I did not add, and I was basically talking without looking up stuff, um, which nowadays I do. My mom, when I was a kid, teenager, she wanted to buy, and she spent about uh, $200 on these special shoes to keep my foot, my feet straight when I walk. 
And of course, I was like, oh, I don't feel like wearing them. They, they feel uncomfortable. And I had to break them in, you know. So now I got to go back to a orthopedic, my foot doctor, and get special shoes made. So anyhow, this has been Rainbow Pagan.